Good morning, everyone. Hello, and welcome to day 14, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Day 14 or 13 or 15, somewhere right in there, I'm positive, um, of the ETL 2 challenge. So I am wanting to make something. So I've had spaghetti recently, and it really made me want Italian. And so I was thinking about what would be Italian flavored that would be healthy to eat and would use up some leftovers and all that kind of good stuff. So I am making um, an Italian bean wrap. Um, and this is just totally not, um, there's, there's no recipe involved here at all, guys. This is a add in whatever it is that you guys would like to add in. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna be fantastic. I am super excited. So you need one of two things. Um, you either need balsamic vinegar and Italian spices, which um, would absolutely 100% work. All you need to do is put enough balsamic vinegar on there to make your uh, Italian beans um, have some goo on them so that you can then sprinkle your seasoning on there and mix it all up. Perfect, that would be absolutely fine. I'm not actually going to use that simply because I bought a whole bunch of uh, stuff from the, the Olive Tap recently and one of the things that I bought was Italian herb um, and this actually vinegar, this balsamic vinegar, is one of the reduced ones. So A, it's kind of a little bit sweet, it is sweet, and B, it's uh, very, very thick. However, oh my gosh guys, this is amazing. Holy cow, this is so good. Um, so I'm going to put this on my um, burrito wrap instead of what the other two. But the other two would work absolutely just as well. No absolutely it would be fine. This tastes just like those two things mixed together, I promise. So anyways, Italian cut green beans. So the only thing that's exciting about these is the way that they're cut. And for some reason, this is what I want. This, these are, this is the bean that I want. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I'm not really sure why, but that's what I want. So I'm putting those in a bowl. Oh, I need to squeeze those out. They're very wet. I don't need them to be that wet. And this one has a tail, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so some green beans. Give me just a second. I'm going to go and um, squeeze the daylights out of these so that I can get some of the water off of them. All right, guys, so I just squeezed these out really well over the sink. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of this onto here. And then basic, this is going to be a very basic, easygoing uh, wrap. So I wanted some greenery in it, so I'm going to put the rest of the mixed greens that I have in this container in there. And I also wanted to have it be nutritarian, which basically means that it needs to have beans of some sort. Not like green beans, but like beans beans. And I happen to have um, some of those garbanzo beans that were squished up left over. And yes, these do have a little bit of seasoning on them, but I'm not at all worried about this. They were very mild. They will fit in this just fine. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, and then I'm going to put a few slices of avocado. And that's going to be it for me. Although you could definitely put some tomatoes in there. You could slice up some cucumbers thin and put them in there. Um, the Italian seasoning with the balsamic vinegar that's sweet would go really, really well with either. So I am going to just toss this together. I'll bring the camera down so you can see me put it together. And um, it's not going to be super complex at all. But let's put together a wrap. Okay. So first things first, we're going to start with our green beans. And like I said, this stuff is very, very thick. But this is where our flavor is coming from, so put in however much you think that you would want to have on your wrap. So let's try, let's start with that. Okay. I think that's going to be perfect actually, because that'll be enough to put get some smoothness, wonderfulness onto the greenery. So let's put this down in here. That's a lot of greenery, but I think it'll be just fine by the time it gets rolled up. Ta-da! And then... Okay. There are my green beans. And then, again, if you needed a little bit more of your balsamic, you just put it in at any time. So I'm going to do this because it's going to make it beautiful and taste wonderful. And this I'm just going to sprinkle in because I don't need a ton of it. There. That is going to 
going to be turned into a wrap. I don't know how well successful I'm going to be at leaving it that way, but we shall see. And then a few slices of avocado, which this works really well with a spoon, guys, so just use a spoon. But this will work just fine with me using my hands, too. This means I have to wash my hands again. Alrighty. Okie dokie. That is my wrap. I'm going to put it together and taste it for you guys, although I absolutely am without a doubt um, believing that this is going to be super, super, super tasty. So I will be back with you in just a minute after I get my hands cleaned up. <laughs> Alright guys. So this is super, 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 super amazing smelling. Oh my gosh. Um, it looks wonderful. I'm really excited about eating it. I'm not really 100% sure it's going to stay in this nice little wrap format because when I was trying to put it together, um, it pretty much did this. <laughs> so, oh, and I just threw a chickpea on the floor. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Anyways, um, flavor-wise, this is fantastic. Like, this is really, really, really good. I would totally recommend. And like I said, you can just use balsamic vinegar and some Italian seasoning. I'm not any kind of a rep or anything for the olive tap. I just happen to like what they have. Um, I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to take a salad with me, along with one of my other new vinegars, which is pear white. Um, I have a Granny Smith apple that I've had in the past, and it is super sweet, not tart, and love it on salad. So I'm actually gonna take this pear white one in a little container to put on my salad. Actually, I might just take the container, the glass bottle with me. That'll probably be easier, just put it in my lunchbox to go. Um, and have a salad with that on it later. So. I'm going to have a wrap with tons of veggies and um, some beans, and it's got a little bit of fat in it because it's got some avocado, which is fine, and I'm going to have a salad. So, oh, and my husband's making me a smoothie. He's going to make me blueberries with, what kind of greens? What, what was this? Baby kale, baby chard, and baby spinach. Hopefully that'll taste awesome. And a little bit of vanilla soy milk to make it blend it up. So, those are what I'm going to take with me to eat for today. Um, I hope you guys had a great day and you really should try this. This is really good. I really, I mean, if you hate vinegar, maybe it's not your, maybe it won't, this won't be your thing, but balsamic vinegar is definitely different from a regular vinegar. It's very tasty. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you again tomorrow. All right, guys, I might be having the best food day like ever. Thought that I would share that with you. So last night, my salad with the new vinegar, the pear thick vinegar stuff was so good. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. And then my wrap was like, super phenomenal as well and then I came home and my husband made um he made a plate of breakfast for himself and a plate for me so take a look at this there's some raspberries and some broccoli and some peanut butter for my broccoli oh my gosh oh that's very bright Whew, that's very bright um anyways I'm super excited so my food was really good last night I'm really excited about having breakfast this morning um and I'm going to go use the treadmill but I'm going to walk for five minutes at two and then put it up to four or four and a half i haven't decided yet four or four and a half and jog for as long as i can and then put it back down to two and walk again so um i think that based on how things have been going i probably can jog for about two minutes ish before not doing real well again so anyways i'm gonna give that a shot see if i can do that for a few times um like well like five times so that ends up being about a half an hour. So anyways, that's it for me for today, guys. I'm kind of excited about breakfast. So I'm going to go eat breakfast, have some yummy veggies, and some not-so-healthy peanut butter, but I like it anyway. And yeah, I will see you guys again tomorrow.